Hello everyone and welcome back. It's that time of year. It's time to head up to the tent for deer camp. Well, I'm going to shop here and hopefully get all my grocery shopping done. I stopped here because I wanted to upload a video before I leave and I use the Walmart Wi-Fi is way faster than the house internet. Shopping is done. Let's head to the tent. used to driving this truck at all. It runs, it rides smoother than my white diesel, but it's just weird. And then I don't, I don't trust it. I haven't driven it, you know, much at all in the last, what, three years. I just put new brake calipers and pads and everything on it three days ago. But it's weird when I'm going like up a hill, you have to give it pedal because it'll the speed will drop and with my diesel it just drives you know it stays in the same place almost all the time it's taking me a little bit to get used to this one again Thursday morning. Uh, my dad, he's coming up today. I think he'll be up around. Well, he said he was going to leave around eight. That'll put him up there noon, between noon and one o'clock. Zachary, he's going to be up tomorrow at about eleven o'clock, which is Friday. And Sarah said she would be up before lunch also. And like yesterday at the house, it got to 70, 73 degrees. Uh, up here today, when I was looking at my phone, it's supposed to be 63 or 64. And I mean, the average high at the house this time of year is 43. It does sound like, though, a big weather change when we're up here. Like tomorrow or today is going to be warm. And anyway, by Saturday, they're, right now, if you look at the weather, they're talking one to three inches of snow. Highs around 40. So, I mean, just like every year deer hunting, it's going to get colder. And it's just, but when it's 70 degrees yesterday, it just, it's so hard to be in that deer hunting mood. You know, it's 70 degrees for crying out loud. If you shoot a deer, you'd have to bring it to the, get it butchered up right away or you're going to lose it. I saw George a few days ago and talked to him for maybe 20 minutes, a half hour. And they were up to, him and his son were up at the, their cabin just last weekend. Anyway, he said it was really nice, like in the mid-50s, just beautiful. But they went up and checked their stands, and he said just like last year, he did not see any deer sign. So it's kind of frustrating that way, but you never know. I mean, it's, it's deer camp. If you shoot a deer, you shoot a deer. If you don't, you don't. It's always a great time, but uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. And definitely, even at the house, the deer are not in rut or anything yet. So far, driving up here, the last about 15 miles, I've seen two rough grouse standing on the road.
Looks like Mr. Squirrel's been kind of busy. I think it's time to eliminate him. At least he ate dinner at the table. I made beef jerky last week, made eight jars, and I had a full smoker, and uh, I'll give one of these to my dad, or my dad and Wayne is coming up uh, tomorrow too, so they'll be my dad and Wayne over at the folks' place, uh, Sarah, Zachary, myself here, George, uh, George's son Stephen, and Tom is going to be coming up too, but I think Tom's going to go back and forth to to his cabin at night and Steven will be here for the weekend and then I think then he takes off to where did he say he was going George said he was going to like Brazil or somewhere for like three weeks so I don't know if that's right after hunting season or it's after this first week or whatever but anyway I'm gonna give one jar of jerky to my dad and we'll have three of them up here I brought a lot of food because I don't know if I'm gonna be up here the whole entire week if I'm just gonna stay till like Wednesday, go home for a day, and then come back up here, just kinda gotta watch the weather. The We just fired up the wood boiler, and Melissa and I have been burning that together now for the last three days, just running it all the time, even when it's warm out, just keeping it going because it heats the hot water and everything, just getting to learn how to use it. So if she doesn't have any trouble with it, then I you know, won't have to go back. So we'll just watch everything. I'm like, So I might be up here for you know, 10 days and then go home for a few days and come back up for the final weekend. So I had to bring a lot of stuff. Well, I just listened to the radio weather and they said a high of 64 today, a low of 32 tonight with some rain showers high of 39 tomorrow and then I can't remember what it was for Saturday but it, it still is going to be like in the 30s and 40s for highs and there's a possible inch of snow in there somewhere. We'll have to listen again in a little bit.
And I got a bunch of Lunchables compared to when we went, I can't remember what they said they were when we went duck hunting. These were almost two dollars a piece this time, so they were cheaper than last time, but I still, I got eight of them. I plugged in that refrigerator that's outside also because for deer hunting we need it. But I that one there though I keep turned as cold as it will go so it turns into a freezer. I have the big freezer in here that I haven't plugged in for years. I mean I put it in here, it was brand new. Uh, but it takes a lot of power so you can really tell when you're running the microwave <laughs> if that thing's going. Got some strawberries and some pears. Let's just go through everything so that I can just put it away. I got some trail mix, fake granola bar thingies, mac and cheese, jambalaya, because we always make jambalaya one of the days. Mushrooms, tomato sauce, tomato paste. This is all Halloween candy. Potatoes, I actually brought up 10 pounds. Cheez Its, some more snacky stuff for Sarah. Chocolate chip cookie mix. Long grain of wild rice. Sliced potatoes. More paper plates. Oh, I did bring up chili. I thought we might make chili one time. Kipper snacks and more canned vegetables and stuff. So, oh, and we still got this stuff over here. I got bread and uh, hamburger buns, some wing sauce because I'm going to be making some chicken, not wings, but more canned vegetables and potatoes, a bag of onions, I couldn't get just a little bag, I mean this was the smallest bag I could get unless I were to just buy a single onion, more trail mix. Suddenly salad. I don't know why I got stuffing, this instant stuffing stuff, but <laughs> pickles for burgers. And some of these, which I already, I guess we already have two boxes of them up here, so I better, we better use this one up first. I got rid of the Butterfingers, threw them away. I bet you they're really old. And I put some Kit Kats and some, what are these things? Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkins. <laughs> I always buy uh, candy for Halloween and we've never had a kid come to the house. But I buy it because I realize that we will, I can bring it up here and it'll be eaten. Looks like the birds are here already looking for food. I just looked at one of the cameras that I have inside the tent and sure enough you can see that squirrel pulling down the paper towels. <laughs> I got a couple of whole chickens. I'm going to smoke those or put them in the grill and do them 
smoke them, you know, with apple tomorrow. And it's so stupid. I mean, this free range one was 10 bucks, and this one here with no antibiotics ever was uh, $7.30. You can go to any store and get the pre done ones cheaper. Uh, now I guess they're getting up towards $10, but I was just reading a story about that this week. And those stores like Costco, it's like, what is it, $4.99 or $5.99 for a chicken? They lose millions of dollars, like something like $30 or $40 million a year selling those, but all it is is to get you into the store because you're not going in there just to buy a chicken. You'll end up buying other stuff. I just got, uh, these burgers were four burgers for five dollars and some odd cents they were in the clearance part but I'm gonna cook those up two of them for lunch and then I might even just do those for dinner tonight too so I don't have to cook we'll see how it goes Well, my dad, he made it up to his place. Talked to him on the phone for a while. And now Wayne said if it's gonna be raining, he might not come up, so we'll see what happens there. He went out to his deer stand because he thought that his the roof over the top of his had a little hole in it. He wanted to put a piece of tape on it because it really looks like it might be raining on Saturday morning. According to his phone, anyway. And I was just sitting out here and there was a raft of bluebills that were sitting out in the middle here. You know, if this wasn't quite so far apart, a person could have shot one of them with my, have a steel shot and my shotgun up here. But now they went all the way over to the far side. I think now I will, I'm gonna drive down to my far stand, which is where, that's where I'll sit opening morning. I'm not gonna go all the way into it. I'm just gonna do like I usually do, just walk out so I can see it, make sure there's no trees that have fallen down against it or anything. And then I'll walk back out and then I won't go back in there until you know not tomorrow and I'll go back there Saturday morning early my phone says by six or seven tonight it's supposed to be raining and the clouds are definitely rolling in right now uh, what time is it I think it's a little bit after two o'clock right now Not sure if you guys have remember or saw the video. I don't know, it's been a few years at least now, but I was up here a week before deer hunting season and that was like first snowfall of the year, 10 inches of snow. It's one of the most popular videos on the channel. A lot different right now. Just for me to get down here, I had to cut so many trees. I'm not even going to film running in there, I'm just going to walk in so I can see the stand like I said and I'll be right back out. I walked in there and then I, I the roof that's over the top of it was sideways so I did have to walk in and I tied it back up a little bit better. It doesn't take much to blow those down but I think with all the rain and stuff coming I don't think I have to worry about my scent causing a problem in there. I just shot two grouse. I was driving, I saw one run across the road, so I shut the truck off and pulled to the side and grabbed my gun and walked up and 
I seen one and I shot it. And then you always got to remember that a lot of times there's more than one. Then I walk slowly up and sure enough, there was a second one. It's really weird because one of them has the real gray tail. And this one has the real brown tail. I just shot a third grouse coming up the tent driveway. <laughs> There we go, three grouse, all cleaned up, and one red squirrel. <laughs> I think I got everything situated now. What time is it? Quarter to seven, well, almost 10 to seven. 54.5 outside, so it hasn't dropped that far. I decided I might as well, I have one farmhouse video to edit, might as well get started on that. It's very quiet here tonight. I can hear my ears ringing. It'll be different tomorrow. There'll be uh, well, Zachary here and Sarah here and the excitement of deer hunting the next day. I'm so interested to see what the weather will be like tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> it's got to get crappy sometime tonight. It's so weird being up here. It's just, remember when I was up here doing the deer stand weekend, I was telling you how it just, it would take me at least a day to unwind and it just has not slowed up. With, you know, winter coming and all the stuff going on, and, you know, if you guys watch both channels, you know what I mean. And um, so I'll be sitting here now and it's like, oh, I, I need to get the barbecue going. It's like, oh, <laughs> you already did supper. Um, I, I need to feed the dogs or you know, it's just different stuff that I have to do during the day and I can just sit here and edit this video and do the journal and stuff and then tomorrow it'll get busier when the kids show up and then there's deer hunting and stuff but today it's just kind of a, I don't know if you call it an unwind day or whatever but just kind of decompressing I guess. There's just so much to get done before getting up here. I mean Zachary and I just put a metal roof on the front garage at the farmhouse um, and I was out there last night he was there the day before worked until dark and then last night it was dark again and I finally got it all finished so and there's still so much more to do before winter but it, we had such nice weather and it's just just weird I keep thinking of stuff I need to do and it's like you're at the tent you don't have to worry about that right now to worry about it when you get home It is lightly sprinkling out. I was just out here and a drop hit my shirt and it was like, what? And then I just sat there for a minute and it's just lightly sprinkling. Kind of a little bit of a mist and not, not really a heavy one at all. Now, Melissa is messaging me and since she got home from work, the internet's been out. <laughs> and that girl is on the internet. I mean, she's talking with her daughter and stuff on Facebook constantly. And uh, I asked if they called, and she called, and they just told her there's, that there's an outage. And um, I told her that uh, my phone internet's fast up here, you should come on up. But she said that they have no idea when it will be repaired. 
I'm going to tell her, good thing you have the Grit channel so she can watch Westerns. <laughs> I always have it on Grit, and she always has it on something that's streaming. So, and she doesn't, she said sometimes if I see one more Western, I'm going to go crazy. Okay, everyone, well, it's 1045, lightly raining. It's time for bed. Good morning, everybody. When I, it says it's 32 here. Uh, right now it's 6.30, I was up at five, and it was 33.8. It says the high is 38 today with no chance of any type of, 6% chance of no precipitation. 10 mile an hour northwest wind, 24 tonight, a high of 35 degrees tomorrow, which is deer opener, windy, and an 81% chance of three inches of snow. It's down to 61 in here, let it warm back up. Quarter after seven. You can hardly tell it's starting to get light. Looks like there's a little bit of light snow, maybe. It felt like a misty rain, but almost looks like maybe light snow. Melissa got a new headlamp, and the thing is so bright. It's heavy, kind of having it on your head, but it's so bright, and I told her I really liked it, so she got me one. I mean, these are really nice. The other one that I was just using, I've used them for years. But when I saw this, it's like, I need one of these just to see how it is deer hunting. I just want to get it charging up.
It looks hazy across the lake, but that's snow. Sarah just texted me and said, on my way, it looks like I'll be up there around 12.30, depending on stops. So right now it's 8.24. Yeah, that's about right. So I told him the chicken will be ready. I started my truck. I'm gonna run the loop for grouse. Looks like the chickens smoking at about 2.30. Yesterday when I came down here, you know, I park right there to the right and I went in and checked that stand and uh, opened up my door, got out of my truck, pulled my gun out of the case, shut the door, put the two shells in because it's my double barrel, closed the barrel or closed the gun and a grouse flew. It was less than 10 feet away from me. <laughs> I just walked down this trail. If you go down it far enough, there's a wooden bridge that crosses over a river. And years ago, I remember coming through here with Max and you'd get a lot, a lot of grouse on this road, but I didn't see anything. A couple spots with some bare dirt too, and I didn't see any deer tracks. That was a pretty chilly walk. I put on a thin pair of long johns, but no jacket. I just have my orange vest on. I see a grouse up there on the right side. Ooh, there's another one. All right, we'll stop right here. I got one of the two. First I seen the one, put my gun up and it kind of went behind this thing and it, I couldn't see it anymore and then I saw the other one move. Took a couple of steps forward and got that one. I heard the other one fly. Oh, just a little bit under 250 now. Turn that down just a little bit. Well, I just talked to Melissa on the phone for a little while. I think I'm going to get out there and clean that grouse, get that in the bag and in the refrigerator out there so it can freeze. There we go, all cleaned up. 
most people just breast them out and throw the rest away, but you get a few good bites and I like the legs better than the breast anyway, so. Yep, and we're good. I saved the wings too for Zachary to train with his little lab puppy. I'm going to take the chicken neck and uh, I don't want the liver, but the neck. Let's see what all they have here. We have the neck. Gizzard. They used to give you the heart too, I not I'm not seeing that. Anyway, I'm gonna get this boiling up in a pan so it just kind of disintegrates. And then uh, I will use that water and any chunks of meat that I can get off here, you know, with no bones when I make the instant kind of stuffing. This chicken was a different brand name and that one just came with the liver and the neck. That's it, so. Looks like it's hanging right at 250. That's pretty good, I'll just leave it there. I don't want it to get any warmer than that, but that's pretty good. got done cleaning and I saved the wings for you for your puppy. Oh cool, I mean, thank you. Because I mean if, if nothing else, a dog is nice for duck hunting but it's like priceless for grouse yeah. hunting. Oh, I mean yeah. just be able to tell when they get excited you know it's like you can get ready. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah they're in the freezer here now so up here and maybe camp out or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes I just wanted I got that one tree that's broken off hanging down and I want to rip off the top part of it and cut it and split it so then in the winter time if I come out here I have a bunch of wood ready. Oh yeah. But, yeah, yeah I don't know if you're going to have, well it's supposed to be 40 on Sunday so I think or Monday. Yeah. Or, um, then I did the whole loop shot the grouse and nobody had driven through so they maybe are camping back behind where I sit. Oh okay. Either that or they're another group that's going to be camped right by the river where the little gravel pit is oh, there. Okay. I mean, I didn't see any tent or anything, but maybe somebody else is coming in. So later on, I want to drive the loop and see, because if I don't see them and I know they're back there, yeah. and which I don't mind that because I always figure when they're coming out to their stand, they might scare a deer. Mm -hmm. But I walked down that trail and there were places where there was bare dirt because they went in there with the bobcat and cleared the sides and everything. Not one deer track in really? fresh dirt. Wow. So, yeah. But, you know, you were talking about how <clears throat> you didn't think that that beaver is here. They have another house. If you go, like, like towards the river way, I think it's to the left on that land. There's another house going up there, and there's sticks and stuff. That oh, there was. That way, so. I think they just move around to where there's more food because there's no sticks for them on that island. Right, yeah. You know, they, every single birch is down. I see they cut some more down by the by the river where that one was and the people have cleared it off the road and then when I walked down that trail and got to the wooden bridge they are making a dam or they have made one but the water's coming out in here like if you're walking across that bridge on the left side. Oh really? So they're really huh. busy and I wish we could get one and I'd like to eat off the lake. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was really, really. I suppose you're not that far off the lake so when that happens you get the gale of it you know. Yeah. When they say, I think they say November is kind of the month that it happens. Right. It does, the end of October and then November, even at the house is really, really windy. If you need more room or you want something colder, I have the outside refrigerator plugged in. 
Oh, and that works kind of like a um, freezer, though. I have it turned up all the way. Oh, okay. So it will freeze it over a few, like the course of a couple of days. So I got one more can of this out in there, but I didn't know which one. So. Okay, this is... I, that's when I, like we had 10 inches of snow before and I had to do all the trees. Yep. I just talked about that in the video yesterday, not remembering what year. That was five years, huh? Wow. Yep. A lot different this year. This spot here, if you got on the back side. She's gonna park. I need to be able to turn around. Well, we'll move stuff around later. opened this since I put them in. <coughs> nope. They are not ready yet. Sarah should be here any minute. The chicken is not done, so I'm cooking up burgers for lunch. We'll have chicken for supper. And Zachary eliminated a third squirrel. Gonna have to be able to have a whole entire meal of just squirrel. Your drive in. Oh, that's good. Was it? You didn't rip anything off the bottom of your well, car? Well, I did get one big, nice knock on the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Remember yeah. one year when your muffler got? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken wasn't done, so now I'm making burgers. Oh, okay. But they're almost done. Chicken was at 136 degrees, and it needs to be up past 150. Oh, yeah. I put it in at 740 this morning. So really? Two of them. I've been smoking a long time. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yay, I made it. Sounds like the weather is going to be pretty crappy tomorrow. Okay. Versus five dollars and thirty cents, yeah. you know. When did you guys get up here? I got up here yesterday morning. And Zach got uh, bought. It. He got here at ten thirty-five. Oh. And then we just went on an excursion that. Was almost life threatening. Oh, tell the road me. Oh, it was like. It was a four wheeler trail. Oh. No. It started out as a vehicle trail, but we made it all the way through. <laughs> well, you know, that main road coming in is basically a four wheeler trail now, so yeah. they need to like grate that thing. I know, it's getting really bad. Yeah. It really is. Yesterday. No, wow. four since I got here yesterday. I got one when I was up here last time. I'm so surprised. I got three yesterday and one this morning. One. If you see a red squirrel, take it out. Really? Yeah. No. Three down so far. Mm. This they had the whole this whole roll was unwound. Not this roll. On the ground they <laughs> ate a um, pine cone was completely chewed up and eaten right here. And wow. Most said, well, at least they ate at the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <what happened. laughs> That's funny. Have you been pretty busy lately? Oh man, yeah. Although it's slowed down a little now. After the board game disaster. What happened with that? Oh my gosh! You were going to get a fan day, weren't you? Yeah, well, suddenly. 
like a few days in, someone posts on the Kickstarter page, which is like how we generate the funds to make the game. He's like, everyone who is considering getting this game should look at this Twitter thread. So I'm like, oh, what the heck is that? Click on it, and this guy's like, this guy stole my game. Oh, no. Here's my game concept, blah, blah, blah. And here's a screenshot of him playtesting it like a year ago or something. So, anyway, I looked it over and, like, they were a lot alike. <laughs> really? Yeah, so long story short, he took the game down because people were, like, upset, which I think is kind of warranted. Uh, after talking with him, I'm not sure how intentional, if, if it was just some an accident, some he did copy but didn't realize, or what. It seemed kind of dumb there. So, like, if he did copy some, he didn't realize you have to change it more or something. So, then I met with him, and then we did, like, brainstorming, and we changed all the stuff that was the same, and he's going to try to relaunch it next spring. And, like, the art, I mean, the art's, like, done. There, right. There's still some to do, but not, like, a lot. So he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm going to try to make it so we don't really have to remake much of the art or anything. So... How much money were you possibly going to make off that? It was 8% of whatever it really? launched for. So, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it would have finished at or anything. So. Well, that just sucks. Huh? I know. I was like, wow, I didn't expect that. And then um, I'm kind of hoping this will be better because I feel like he kind of dropped the ball on, like, the advertising part. So if it's in the next spring, because he was going to hire a company to do the advertisement for him. And, like, he was really late on that. And so the company was like, hey, we can't help you. So I'm hoping now that since it's in the spring, he can, like, contact them way earlier and they can actually, like... But if they would have done it now, it would have been right before Christmas. I know. That's why he said, he's like, I can either do it in the fall or in the spring, because that's when people buy stuff. Oh, yeah. But otherwise, you can't really, like, do Kickstarters. That oh, there's that light for you right there. Right? I know. Our deer hunting clothes might smell like some chicken tomorrow, but <laughs> actually the wind's going to go in the other direction. We'll head a lettuce for tacos. Oh, no. I hope you eat one piece right now. Yeah. The more we eat, the better. Zachary is driving Sarah over so she can walk into her stand and check things out. And then she said she'll just walk back. And before that, my dad was just here. We were outside talking there for maybe 15 minutes. He's getting all his stuff ready for tomorrow morning. I just checked that chicken. It was 136 about, I don't know, just before lunch. And it's still, it was only at 136. some in there for Sarah and when she comes back maybe she'll want some. She went out there without gloves or anything. <laughs> That's cold. I walked down that ski trail. Fresh uh, <laughs> vanilla is like fun. a normal flavor though. Yeah, but it's not nutty. <laughs> Hazelnut's really good. I just got a pumpkin spice one. I was like, do I want that? I do. <laughs> yeah, no, I always just have hazelnut unless I'm forced into French vanilla. Mm. Any 
and I know. Just made me that happy. I had a dance. It was good. Good happy bird dance. <laughs> Chance, like, message me. Over in the trash. Ah, bag it. You gonna make broth out of it or something? No, we're just putting the freezer so that it doesn't stink. Mm -hmm. Chicken number one right there. Be here. He would be. So it's really good for you, but you're just not gonna just not gonna let it happen. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and we look on the map and we're like in the middle of nowhere and it's like we're about to come out. We're like way past that. It's like uh oh. <laughs> Two of them for you to choose from. They're both outside. There's the newer one and the older one. All right. So, is that the one you want right yeah. there? Yeah. That's, that's the new one I got last year that you used. Yeah, this one's nice. Okay, so you got two choices. You can dig through that plastic bag and find them because they were washed and set for salt. Or you can do the easier route. Oh man, I know I hate that. Uh, you're the same way? Yeah. See, that makes fun of me. I sleep with heavy socks. Like if I, I don't know what it is, but once my feet get cold at night, I have to sleep with heavy socks. I can't. If my feet are cold and I try to sleep, I can't. Can't. So, I also hate sleeping with socks, but I will put them on if my feet are cold. Yeah. I need my boots. Especially for you guys. I mean, at least I know I'm going to shoot a deer so I can warm it up inside <laughs> of it for you guys. <laughs> I'll be happy just to see a deer now, actually. Oh, what did you? Okay. Yep, it was just hanging like, I think you told me you put it there. It was on one of the I think it was there last year. Okay. I mean, it was, Zach might have, he went up in your stand, he might have put it up there. Oh, maybe it was there. Oh, yeah, it was like hanging on right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, it was eating them down there. Was it? I wonder if any birds will come around. I don't usually get the birds at the far stand. I'll get them at the clearing stand, though. Oh, yeah. It's like, why do we even go scent free and then smell this jerky? I know. It's so strong. I know. I'm looking out the sink. And she seen uh, the top of a dog's head, and she thought, "Oh, did I leave Ken outside?" 
And she's like, no, I didn't leave Cal outside. It was a Great Dane in our front yard. Really? Oh, I've never seen a Great Dane in that neighborhood. Yeah. Huh. I wonder whose that was. Seven minutes. I'll call you back in two hours. Hello. Okay, everyone. It's a little after 9:30. Four o'clock comes early. It's almost time for bed. What's the bed looking, Sarah? Well, so far so good. No friends in there. Not yet. Never know. I can see a little red squirrel hanging out. Yep. Does it look good? Yep, I don't see anything. Sarah? <laughs> it's 4.30, it's time to wake up. <laughs> Sarah? Sarah? It's 4.45. It's time to wake up. Well, daylight savings time doesn't end until tonight. I'm so used to saying it's 4.30, it's time to wake up. I didn't even think about it. Well, we didn't have to get, we didn't have to get Sarah up till 5.30 this morning. <laughs> yeah, because we can't shoot until 6.20 or 7.26. So everybody's up an hour early. This is my regular wake up time anyway. Optimistic, Sarah. Well, after getting up an hour too early, we're finally out to the going out to the stand. The wind is picking up a little bit off the lake, so. Before it was saying, though, gusty winds up to 30 today. 
Uh, I wasn't saying that on my phone. It looks pretty nice today. High of 38. With just 5 to 10 mile an hour winds, but we'll see what happens. Zach is behind me. And he goes in right here. Just on the other side of that pine tree. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock. As far as deer hunting goes, it's been a dead morning. I've heard a couple of shots maybe a quarter mile behind me. That's it. George and his group haven't seen anything. I saw two woodpeckers. I didn't even see a, a red squirrel. <laughs> nice, I mean, it's nice to sit in out here, but no deer. Now let's head back to the tent. Zachary's making tacos for lunch. Back, I, my brother Chris texted me and he didn't see anything, but Johan got an eight pointer this morning. Really? Yep. First time he ever shot a deer on Saturday on opening morning. Really? Yep. Huh. And Chris said he had not seen anything. Yet. When's Johan's son going up there this year? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I used it last night. Um, or not a strainer, but I have a colander. It should be under. It should be up there. Like look underneath that pan. Oh yeah. How was it? Oh, it was good. There's nothing going on though. See, I didn't even have any squirrels on mine this year. Oh, I had one. Did you? Yep. I saw a blue jay and a raven, and that was like it. George said that his son Stephen had a camera out there. That he put out a week ago and there was nothing on it. Really? Yep. Did but he have anything on his cam? Did he he say didn't anything? say. I thought that he had a camera. He said it was out there for three weeks. Yeah. They're sitting until 11:30. Well, they, yeah. And then they said if they didn't see anything, they were going to head back. Okay. So. Yep. I was out there. And I was like, well, it was like 10:30. I was like, for normal, for like you know, tomorrow and next day. I was like, all right, I think that's good. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, Johan got a eight pointer. Oh, he did. Yeah. Cool. Where is he hunting now? At Chris's property. Okay. Chris and Teresa's. Yeah. But Chris hasn't seen anything yet. So. Are they going for bucks this year? Uh, Chris said he would shoot a doe. I don't know tomorrow or Monday morning, and they use it for dog food. Oh, really? So I don't, I don't know if just the bones or what, but what? yeah. What? Well, maybe they. I would think that she just uses the bones for that, so I mean, they probably would keep the meat. Uh, I don't think so. And I'm sure they pull a dope permit, it's probably, they probably can get one there because it's middle of the state. So. Yeah. Mm. I said, we're probably going to make jambalaya. She goes, out of a box? And they're kind of said, we like the stuff out of the box. Up the box. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> It's not like true jambalaya, but it's still really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. 
I've never had it any other way, so it's the standard for me. <laughs> it tastes totally different when, yeah. you, uh, when it's made in the big old pot. You know, I've had it, I used to, like, oh yeah, you got it from across the street down mm -hmm. south, and I've been to a couple, like Don's funeral, they made it. I helped make it that, actually. And then, yeah, there was just lots of places where, or like Melissa would just make it, and it is different. It's not as hot, mm -hmm. either. Yeah, I feel like Zatarain's is more like Minnesotan jambalaya. Right. It's good. kind of a uh, taco is this a Ortega? Is yeah, it? that's good stuff. I usually have a couple tacos, then I make a taco salad thing. <laughs> Dang it, because I can't do it. <laughs> I had these taco holders and then when I moved, I don't know where I put them. <laughs> clip things for our phones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to bring it out there and see if I can't like hook it to the, the bar so I can watch something and have it kind of not in my hands so I can put gloves on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you have earphones or just do you like subtitles? I have uh, like my Bluetooth earphones. I was sitting out there and it was like it's like some years you'll hear a squirrel, but you'll get like excited about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's just like no squirrels, no, no birds. Uh, it's so quiet. Yeah. Nothing to get excited. No, no squirrels for me either. I had one squirrel, but it was an obvious squirrel. Yeah. Well, it's time to go out to the stand for the afternoon, the last few hours. But my dad lost one of his hearing aids today on his way out to his stand needle in a haystack trying to find something like that. He said it's the same color as the ground, but Zach and I are going to take a look. My dad's not going out tonight, and I might just sit in my clearing stand out there after we look and see if we can find anything. Zach and I walked all the way out to his stand real slow and looked for it, but, you know, it, it, we didn't find it, and Zach looked up in his stand. He said he might come up later, because he leaves tomorrow. Is tomorrow Sunday? Yeah, tomorrow, probably right after lunch or just before lunch, one of the two. And he said he might come up next week with his metal detector and check, and we'll see. So I just drove down here. I'm just going to sit in my clearing stand tonight. See if anything comes by. Well, it was a really nice night. It's 33 degrees. No deer. And once I turn this light on, you can see there's a little bit of light snow coming down.
side if it's dark enough for you. Didn't see nothing? Nope. I didn't even see a squirrel. Those shots sounded like they were maybe the people on the other side of the river there. Could be, yeah. There was actually three or four sets of shots tonight. I only heard two, but Sarah said she heard I heard more. like four. Yeah, they were around different areas, but yeah, there was a couple from back there. Could have been, yeah. I thought the same thing, because there was that one guy that, the one truck and then the two vehicles that were passed over there. <clears throat> I was like, if that's a little louder, it would have been one of us. Right. Yeah, the first shot, I couldn't tell which way it came from. I didn't know if that was from your way or that way. Then the second one was shortly after. And, and I knew. That was super nice length to sit, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, my phone said 33. What is it? Yeah, 33, it says here. And I see warmer than that. Snow flurries when it was coming out with yep. that headlamp, so I could see them. <clears throat> I get the barbecue going and maybe we'll do those but instead of baked potatoes we're gonna fry up some canned potatoes because that's faster It'd take a half hour to do the steaks it would take an hour to do potato oh. yeah you know so good. I, I can still do baked potato I don't care I brought up 10 pounds but I have a feeling I got a thing on my phone about a red flag alert or fire alert tomorrow for like by the house because wind's going to be gusting over 45. Oh. And I talked to Carrie Rod, and he's hunting in Cromwell. And Melissa said it wasn't that windy at the house at all, but Cromwell's not that far away from the house. And he said it was horribly windy all day. Really? really? So I'm wondering if it'll get more, because today, I mean, the wind-wise, you couldn't complain. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a little bit chilly when it would breeze against your face this morning, but that was it. Yeah. But I wonder if it'll get real windy tomorrow. Good. Just pick up overnight because I mean all that wind is I mean that area though is coming off of Lake Superior but still yeah but they said southern St. Louis County Carlton County and all that but it still could get a little bit windy up here I don't I have to look at my phone and see do you get lake effect is that why you get so much snow that's how we get so much wind oh, okay. it comes off the lake we do get some lake effect snow too not like you will when it's coming straight east It'll just circle right there? Or? It just, well, the wind comes over the lake. It won't be snowing anywhere else. The wind comes across the lake, picks up the mist, and dumps snow on you. Oh, that's right. So, but that has to be a straight east wind. Okay. And, because you're close to the lake there, so you'll get yeah. dumped, dumped. And then, but there a lot of the times it's a northeast wind that gets us, but we're a little farther away from the lake. Oh, so, okay. like, when the bands of lake effect go out, we're, like, in the second band. Oh, okay. Where I remember last year looking, and it was, like, where you were, there was one time when it was, like, <laughs> but the wind has to be a certain certain way, you know. So right now it's kind of nice because like it's like ten degrees warmer there because the right. lakes keeping everything warm. But yeah, in the summertime it's ten degrees cooler. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, no one's done. So, so you look at the little clear top and yeah. it pops through, yeah. and when it gets to the color that you like, really, then you, then you take it off. All right. A little darker then. I'm sure with that filter, it's good. <laughs> what did you put in there? Is that like a chocolate coffee or something? No, I just put in a lot of creamer. Oh, do you? I guess yeah, you so. should put a thing of chocolate in there. Oh, yeah, we're talking about that. I think I should do the whole thing or like half? Uh, the whole thing. All right. Yeah. Are you crazy?
very kind man, Mr. Bass. I could tell that right off. I can see that. He's a real fine gentleman, Doc. You ought to see his place. Mom. <laughs> It's 9.30 and almost time for bed. Just watching Gunsmoke in there. Zachary, he's already crawled onto his cot. Losing an hour of sleep tonight will seem like getting up is pretty early. Sarah? Sarah, it's 4.30. It's time to wake up. Sarah, it's 4.45. It's time to wake up. Sarah up, and then I was doing things and just sitting in my room scrolling and I come out here. It was still wide open and it fired up. It's like, holy crap, it's warm in here. Yeah, it's about time to head back to the tent. Quite a variety of weather this morning. But Zach will be leaving, so I'll get back there and see how everybody's doing. Sarah, she went back when it was raining. I talked to George or texted with George and they were planning on leaving too when it was raining. They looked at a fourth uh, trail camera out there and no deer were on it so <laughs> yeah it's like you're waiting for nothing here right now although I did hear two shots this morning just not super close
I was just driving back around here and George and Steven were driving out. Yeah, I thought they were gonna leave earlier, but they must have stayed like I did once the rain stopped. I thought Steven was leaving this weekend for Brazil, but now it's gonna be, uh, he'll be here today and then goes back for work or whatever. Then he'll come back up for next weekend. And then after that, he's going to Brazil for three weeks. But they didn't say, didn't see anything. And everybody thinks that it's time the DNR does something about managing the wolf population up here. They took them off the federal endangered list last year and Wisconsin right away opened up wolf season. Here in Minnesota, the DNR is taking two years to figure out a management plan. I think it's time they just sit down at the table and figure it out because they wanted to reduce the deer up here to help the moose. Well, they certainly did the job. We were all talking about the fact that we're still seeing the exact same amount of moose as we usually did, one or two a year. Well, Zachary headed home. He said he might come up later this week for a day. We'll just watch the weather. It doesn't sound very good in the middle of the week. Time to make some lunch. Detailed. Yep. I think they're all cooked already, but I'm still going to throw them in there. Nope, these aren't cooked. Those are raw? Yep. They're not pink. Be eating leftovers all week. I know. I know. Tonight we're just going to have leftovers. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some of that sausage is the hot stuff, remember? So. Okay. a bit because when it's windy it's not too
right. Good luck. Yep. I'll give you two. According to my phone, this wind today is out of the west. And if that's the case, it'll be at my back at this clearing stand, so it won't be blasting me in the face. Well, it's time to call it a day. My wind really picked up. Sarah, she's still out on her stand too. I told her I'd pick her up at the end of the tent driveway. Now today is Sunday. Sarah goes home tomorrow and right now, looking at my phone, Thursday, we're supposed to get seven inches of snow up here and Friday an additional four. I mean, that'll, that'll change, but um, right now, it looks like there's definitely snow coming. I see Sarah waiting. Zach's car there. I think I can just back up in the morning. I didn't want to smash into it. It's too close there, you know, in the morning when we're leaving. smell off but then I'm out there and I'm like it smells like smoke out here. <laughs> What's that? The the smoke from like the the um Oh can you smell it out there? Yeah and I'm like okay so I'm trying to keep my stuff scent free but now we got it marinating in smoke. <laughs> well you gotta figure the deer up here smell smoke all the time from fires, yeah. you know, and stuff. Yeah. I sometimes think if a person were to just to smoke their clothes, you know <laughs> be better than smelling like any type of soap. Yeah. So Sarah's in there taking a shower now, and my water is still heating up. I think I'll put it on the stove. Take a long time with the wood stove barely going like that. You don't need much wood in it to keep it warm in here when it's only, what, 35 degrees or something outside? 31.8, I guess. 
I filled the wood box one time and then just put two arm loads in this morning and it's Sunday been up here since Thursday so yeah we don't burn a whole lot of wood to keep it warm in here when it's only 30 degrees like that My turn to take a shower. Magic here now. Magic. Deer are out because they're more into rut. Yeah. yeah. It's like I never come up for later and I just don't know why. I'm not to meet the podcast. Okay, everyone, it's a few minutes before 10, so it's time for bed. I do not think tomorrow morning is going to be very inviting on the deer stand if this wind keeps up. Sarah, it's 4.30, it's time to wake up. A couple minutes after 4.30, my dad texted me and said he's not going out, it's too windy. And I'll ask Sarah once she gets out it up if she wants to go out at all you know this morning or not it'd be different if there was deer everywhere but the wind is supposed to die down this afternoon uh quite a bit something like four to five miles per hour and they're still talking seven inches of snow on thursday and four inches on friday sarah it's 4 45 it's time to get up. Well, I talked to Sarah and we're just going to wait and go out this afternoon, or just not go out this morning when it's this windy. Is your guns in the truck? Yep, it's still in the truck. Let's see. So these are the rocks I would park at last year for that new area. And you can see they've logged all of this out, but the trail is still right there. So I want to walk through here and see if there's any deer tracks in there. Two 
years ago there was a deer scrape right here. Really? Yeah. But usually in this swamp you can see tracks if they're here. Water's a little higher this year than last year. you imagine sitting here and then, I mean, look at the rocks that are down here. Look at the holes underneath the, imagine just sitting here for a, a storm and this thing blows over. Wow. Look at it even picked up that one rock over there. That's crazy. <laughs> He's going to go out about two, but he's not going to go out tomorrow. Well, he won't be here, but he's not going to go out tomorrow. He's going to have him. So. Oh, okay. So he's going back tonight or going back tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. And if there's no huge snowstorm, he'll come back up the third weekend. Okay. Sarah's off to her stand. My dad, he is, he went out to his. I was telling Sarah just before we left, I said that I think the deer hunting movie video is long enough, so I'm not gonna mess around anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the first legal one I see tonight and, and end the video can be done. The snowstorm they keep talking about at the end of the week was going to be, well first it was 7 and 4, it was 11 and then this morning it was 4 and 4 and now, oh look out, that little snowbird. Uh, they're talking like 4 and 3, so it's going down as time gets closer. I don't know why those birds do that. Is that little thing, that little snowbird? They do it on the highway and you used to be surprised there'd be like a group of 20 of them and you end up hitting three of them when you're driving. Try to zoom in a little bit. He's still going at it. Well, that's the end of shooting time. Saw nothing, heard nothing, no shots, no squirrels. Just a very quiet night on the stand. Well, let's go pick up Sarah, get her back to the tent so she can get packed up and get on her way. She won't get home until after 11 tonight. There 
she is. Stuff. Yep, Stay and back. one rock hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens with that guy. <laughs> All right. okay, yeah, that's yeah. everything. All righty. All right. You can sure come back up now, Zach, so you might come up tomorrow night. Oh, really? Yeah. Seriously considering like her Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, so you never know. Yeah, just let me know. Alrighty, well you drive safe. I love you. Yep, I'll text you when I Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I've been up here for five days now. I plan on being up here for an additional six days before I head home. And then I'll be back there for a few days and I'll come back up here for another three or four days. So, this is just beginning. 
And if I were you, I would stay tuned because it sounds like the weather's going to get really interesting after that. Rain, wind, snow, possibly a lot of snow, maybe not a lot of snow. Anyway, come back for the second part. I will see you guys on the next video.